everyone this is doxy mom and welcome back to my channel if you haven't done so already i'd greatly appreciate if you'd hit that little red subscribe button you can ring the bell for notifications and if you like this video just give it a thumbs up i'm here with miss indy and we're here to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less so let's get started now i'm sure that you all know by now that our wonderful president met with kim jong-un at the Korea, at the north korea south korea border he was the first president to step across the border into North Korea, and he shook Kim's hand. And then Kim said it was a historic moment. But President Trump, he said it was a great honor and a great friendship with Kim. And lots of great and positive things are happening. And guys, did you notice how happy that Kim looked? I mean, I just think he really looked happy. And, you know, I just think that this is wonderful that, you know, this meeting happened. But then the president went over and he spoke to our brave military men and women in South Korea. And he talked about his meeting with the world leaders. And he talked about Kim Jong-un, that it went well. And he said that he and Kim had a great meeting where he outlined the incredible prosperity that awaits North Korea when all of the things get settled and then that North Korea has tremendous potential. Now, Trump also said that a group of people, including Mike Pompeo, they would be working on this. So, thank you, Jesus. This is wonderful news. And um, I'll leave a link so um, that you, uh, that all you people out here who are military, serving in the military, or have served in the military, Guys, I just want to give you a big old thank you because you guys are the bravest people in the world. So thank you for giving up your freedom so we can have our freedom. So God bless you all, really. Thank you. But now back to North Korea. You know that Kim has not been running North Korea. But of course the C underscore A has. They've been in control basically forever. And But 17, he told us that the strings were cut. So now, Kim is starting to figure out that, hey, I think I can trust President Trump. So hopefully a deal's going to be made soon. Then if that happens, then China might come back to the negotiating table. And guys, that's what we want because China is really our number one enemy. So let's just pray that everything gets all worked out. Moving on, let's see. Now, did you know that there has been, I don't know if it's been said yet, but Pastor David said this, that there's been an indictment out on Robert Mueller. And we don't know how far this goes back now, but he's been working with the White Hats. And now, guys, he's a bad man. He's a bad man, and he's done bad things, but Pastor David really believes he is repenting and that he's been part of this show that's been going on. Because you think back to his uh, Mueller report, Guys, he had to read that word for word. I don't think he wrote that at all. And so now I'm not sure what's going to be happening on the 17th of, of July when he testifies in front of Congress, but Mueller has supposedly flipped. Now, that doesn't mean he's going to get off scot-free. I mean, he's going to go to prison, but I think this is pretty good news. Now, our president is still waiting on that right timing for the OIG and the D-Class because there's two main reasons. Number one, Antifa. He just doesn't want a bunch of rioting in the streets and if we can get that, uh, just all that cleaned up. There were three t uh, Antifa people that got arrested on Saturday in Portland and guys, we just gotta get these people out of here and then somebody's doxing their names, which I think is wonderful because you know they wear those masks across their, their faces you know, to me, they're just a bunch of cowards being paid to cause a bunch of trouble. But we get some of that cleaned up. And then the second reason, we still have those sleeper cells in the United States. I don't know how many, but, you know, guys, this runs so deep. But the good news is people will be arrested. And the number of people that will be convicted of treason and or sedition, it has gone up to 30. 30 people. Guys, it's just sick what these people have done. And according to 107, he says that they're going to have to explain their activities to the American people. And I think they should. Then, 
They're going to be tried in a military tribunal, and I did a little research on those. I got three articles. I'll link them all, but in March of 2018, President Trump signed an executive order that updated and clarified the U.S. Code of Military Justice, the USCMJ. Uh, and this is clearing the way for the military tribunals. And since we are still in a state of war, the war on terror, civilians can be tried in military tribunals. And, you know, that was what that whole Lindsey Graham and Justice Kavanaugh conversation was back then when they were trying to get Justice Kavanaugh approved. That's what they were talking about. Now, in this article from the PC Parade, and I'll link it from October 2018, there were reports that the U.S. wanted to send as much as $500 million to upgrade Gitmo. Then I found another article, and this was from Reason, that was written in February 2019, and they're saying there are 40 people in Gitmo. Now, why are they going to send all this money if for 40 people? They're, they're preparing it, guys. And they just sent over $115 million for permanent troop barracks and another $85 million for cost. I've also heard they're sending at least five military police units there. So this is wonderful news. And then in the third article I found where they're sending $14 million because the current trial support facilities are incapable of handling the large number of personnel on capital defense and prosecution teams, and they don't provide secure evidence storage. Hmm. Now, wasn't it DeGeneva that said that Brennan wasn't going to need one lawyer but five? Well, that's what this money is for, to give all those boys space or those women space so they can, you know, try to get him off, but it's not going to happen. Guys, a lot of big-name people in our government, they're going to be prosecuted, and like I said, up to 30 people are going to be put to death. So we just got to be praying about all this. Now, I just love Charlie Kirk, and he was interviewed by OAN, and I'll leave the link. I'm gonna, it's going to be in the Hayden Music page. The video will be in there, but he says that the Dems are bribing you with free stuff, and when Kamala Harris, mm, 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 she said that the biggest threat to our country is our wonderful president. President Trump. And y'all, she's is a she's a senator from California. I mean, that was just a disgusting thing to say. That's all I can say about that. But Charlie, he goes on to say that the radicals are at the doorstep, and if they win, our country will be unrecognizable. Well, guys, we don't have to worry because we're all gonna get out and we're gonna vote for Trump and he's gonna win in 2020. Now, Charlie also said about you know people getting all this free stuff. He said that the meaning, meaning in life comes from responsibility. And guys, you know, he is so right. Because, you know, people, if they're given something, they don't value it near as much as when people go out and work hard and earn money and then they purchase that item, then they'll value it. But, you know, it's just like me. When I couldn't teach anymore and, you know, I was just sitting around all the time, I just felt like I didn't, I could, I didn't know what my purpose was in life. And, you know, even if you don't like your job, you know, at least it gives you a reason to get up in the morning and go out and whatever your job is, you're helping someone in some some kind of way. Just like my husband. We'll call him Boxer Dad. You know, he works in a factory. He's there at 5.45 a.m. in the morning, and he's a trimmer. That means he puts, he puts fabric on the outside of your furniture. And now, I don't know about you, but I love my, where I sit, my reclining sofa. And I bet you probably love your favorite sofa or chair, too. And if it came from Mitchell Gold Bob Williams or recently from Williams and Sonoma, then there's a good chance my husband possibly made that for you or had a part in it. So, you know, it doesn't matter what your job is. It gives you purpose. And then it gives you money to provide for your family and to provide for others who are in need. 
Guys, take it from me. Sitting around all the time, it just eventually gets so boring. And, you know, I can't do much physically because of the damaged nerves in my leg. So I'm just doing what I can do. And I'm just bringing y'all the news and the good news of Jesus. So I just hope that you know that Jesus loves you so very much. And I greatly appreciate you tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget about the contest. If you have somebody subscribed, just say my neighbor subscribed or my mailman subscribed or, or my hair person or whoever. Just put it down in the comments. I'll put your name in the hat and draw out a winner on July 5th. So thank you for tuning in. For, until next time, this is Doxy Mom, and God bless you all.